कार्टून टीवी गोस्ट कॉलोनी देर यूज टू बी एन एट ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल नेम्ड सिमरन हु यूज टू लिव इन द रामनगर विलेज शी वॉज वेरी प्लेफुल एंड हैप्पी गर्ल शी लव टू रोम बिकॉज ऑफ विच शी केप चेकिंग द विलेज she thinks after visiting all the places in the village now there is no new place in the village where i can roam my parents won't even let me go out of the village that's when simran got an idea i have not yet roamed the forest outside the village why not go there and spend the day thinking this simran goes out towards the forest After walking for a long time, she reached near the dense forest. After reaching there, she speaks to herself. It's too late that I have come here. Seems like today I have to roam about half a forest because if I roam around the whole forest, I will be too late for home. Thinking that, Simran enters the forest. She was quite surprised to see the view of the forest. The thick trees, the noise of animals were attracting her. Slowly, she goes deep inside the forest and starts watching everything carefully. She was so lost in the sight that she does not know the time. Then after a while, she thinks It's getting dark and will be night in a short while. Oh god. If I reach home late, my mom will not going to spare me. When Simran finds a way to return, she realizes that she has lost the way. After which she got nervous. Oh god. What do I do now? How do I go home? Oh god help me Her life was also in danger in the forest So Simran got very nervous due to not finding the right path Whatever path Simran sees she went on the same path But no road was taking her out of the forest It was already night but Simran was now wandering in the same forest Even after trying hard when Simran did not find a way She started crying. <laughs> Then suddenly a strange voice got heard by Simran. What happened girl? Have you lost in the forest? Simran looks at that stranger after hearing him. An elderly man was standing in front of her. He was holding a stick. and his hair was completely grey seeing him simran got a bit nervous because in the forest where there is not even a trace of human beings then what such an elderly man doing there who are you my name is hari and i have been living here for many years where in this dense forest <laughs> oh no We have a colony at a distance. I live there only. Colony in this forest? You are kidding me. And you? Oh, no daughter. If you don't believe me, you can walk with me. Simran has no other way than to go with that elderly man. She says yes to go with him. Simran reached the colony after a little while and was surprised to see the scene there. There was really a colony inhabited there. There was only light all around. That's why Simran asks. How did this happen? How there is so much light in this forest? I mean, I have never heard of this colony. <laughs> never mind, girl. Now you know this. This is more important. Saying this, Hari shows his entire colony. After showing the colony, Hari takes her to his house and gives her a room in his house 
एंड आल्सो टेल सिमरन लेट मी नो इफ यू नीड एनीथिंग यस यस एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच इफ यू वर नॉट देयर देन डोंट नो व्हाट वुड हैपन टू मी नेवर माइंड डॉटर now you are absolutely safe you can go back to your home in the morning saying this hari goes from there due to exhaustion simran falls asleep apart from the ticking of the clock there is no other sound in simran's room but suddenly her eyes open up due to the noise coming from outside simran looks out of the window to detect the noise then her eyes were wide open Simran saw that the people of that colony who were roaming there till evening now all of them are swinging in the air in the middle of the fire seeing the sight of the front it seemed as if they were celebrating on seeing this Simran got scared and tries to run away from there only then Hari comes Where are you going Simran I have to go home. But how will you go now? It's been quite a night now. No, I have to go. Now you want to go because of what you saw outside. Uh, whatever I have seen just now, do you think I will stay here for one more minute? There is nothing to fear. Why shouldn't I be afraid? After seeing all this, the condition of anyone can be worse. We won't do anything to you. Huh? That means you are also one of them. Yes. Simran got scared after hearing this. That's when she speaks to him. Who are you and what are you doing here? This is a colony of ghosts and everyone living here is a ghost. G -g -g ghost colony? And this colony has been here for many years. As soon as at night everything shines here and during the daytime everything disappears from here because our powers only work at night but how did this colony establish and if you are dead then why didn't you get salvation for those souls who die prematurely and who have no place to live and no one to live with for them This colony has been formed and when the time of the soul is over then they get salvation You don't harm anyone You are an example if we had to do something to you we would have killed you by now We just want to live here in peace Does anyone other than me know about it Yes Like you we have saved many lives from this dense forest but we erase everyone's memory related to this night so that they do not tell anyone about us in the future Then will you erase my memory too Yes we have to do it so that you don't tell anyone about this What if I don't tell to anyone then you not erase my memory We have to We can't trust anyone. If anyone gets a sense of this secret, it will be difficult for us to stay here. I want to keep this in my memory. I want to remember that when no one was there to help me, then a ghost helped me. I want to remember this. Ghosts are not always bad. Some ghosts are also good like you all. those who just want to live happily and want to share the happiness without bothering anyone it's quite late at night go and sleep tomorrow you will reach your village he leaves simran without saying anything and simran also falls asleep it was morning and simran wakes up as soon as she open her eyes she finds herself in the house and she immediately gets up that's when she asks her mother 
about her being there. Uh, Mom, how did I get here? Daughter, when you did not come home, the villagers went out to find you, and this morning they found you unconscious on the way to the forest. So everyone brought you here. Are you fine, Simran? Yes, Mom. Nothing has happened to me. And to help me, uh, Simran stops and thinks about the previous night. Yesterday I was in the colony of ghosts, and I remember everything too. That means. Those elderly ghosts did not take back my memory. When I prayed, then they listened to me. Simultaneously, took me out of the forest and put me on the right path. Now it is also my duty to keep their secrets as secrets. Simran, who came for your help? What could have happened to me, Mom? When God was with me, just because of not eating anything, I fainted. Simran kept the secret of the ghost colony thing and never tells anyone about it. But every night when she looks up at the sky and thinks about that elderly hurry ghost, she thanks him for helping her and also prays that they must meet her one last time before they get salvation. Hello, Hello guys. guys. Do comments us that how did you like this story do like this story and share it with your friends too bye if you enjoyed this video do like share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications